I'm going to start us off with talking about our mobile experiences first. And to do that, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Launcher. So let's take a look at Microsoft Launcher. As many of you know, Android's ecosystem enables us to create a fully customized experience for your Android phone. Now, we have a Microsoft Launcher bringing our signature, fluent, productive, and customer-first experience to your Android device. Now, it's available in the store, and if any of you download it today, please try it, use it, and send us feedback. I'm also very excited that the very same launcher we just talked about is going to come to the enterprise. So this is Martina. She's a designer in Contoso. This is her Android device. As you can see on her home screen, we've created a safe and secure environment for people like Martina to access their work content seamlessly through their phones. The IT admin can place a customized folder, which can showcase many of the line of business apps that many of you in this audience are actually going to place in there. With one click, she's able to swipe right, and she, she has access to her integrated feed. Now, this very same feed allows the IT administrator to be able to send her messages about important security updates, gives her access to her calendar, the same line of business apps that we just talked about, and also news about her enterprise. This launcher is powered by Intune, and we hope that many of you in this audience will take advantage of it going forward. So before I move to the next section, uh, you heard Satya yesterday talk about the fact that we're really focused on making the phone a great second screen for your PC. Just a few minutes ago, Joe talked about the fact that the timeline on the PC is the easiest, natural, and most simplest way for a customer to get access to their shared activities across devices. And now I'm very excited to announce that we will be bringing that exact same timeline to your iPhone and your Android devices as well. Thank you. And making the PC the perfect second screen to your phone. So let's take a look. So on my launcher here on my Android phone, with a click of one button, I have access to the exact same timeline I did on the PC. It's a great way for me be, to be able to launch the exact same apps that I had access to. This morning, uh, driving into build, it would have been really convenient for me to have this on my phone, being able to launch PowerPoint so I could rehearse my uh, uh, deck this morning. So being able to give you access to all of these activities on the go on all your devices. Now, we're bringing that same rich and powerful timeline even to iOS. So Edge on iOS will showcase that same uh, button. Clicking on the button will give you access to the timeline again. And people like Martina, as well as all our customers, can have one-click access to all of their shared activities across devices. Now, this picture is incomplete without you. What we'd really like you to do is write your activities to the Microsoft Graph so that we can make people like Martina really successful at home as well as at work. We can make her super productive with a timeline that is inclusive of your apps as well as ours. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story here. This is me at my desk. Um, I get a few minutes between my uh, day full of meetings. I like to keep my phone nearby. So while I'm sitting at my PC trying to be super productive, that first text from my mother or my husband or my daughter's school makes me want to pick that phone up. I pick that phone up, and then I'm lost for the next 10 minutes. I'm on social media. I'm checking steps, which I haven't done any steps. I'm sitting at my desk, clearly. That's, that's weird. And so I'm, I'm doing all of these follow-on activities that have nothing to do with keeping me productive on the PC. And the primary reason I keep my phone so close by is because I'm really anxious that I might miss that important text or that important notification. Now, what if I told you I'd never need to take my phone out of my laptop bag, my purse, or my pocket ever, ever again? So you saw some of this yesterday. I'm thrilled to announce that coming in a future release of Windows, we will be shipping an inbox app that will allow you to get some of the key workloads off your phone right onto your PC. So let me talk a little bit about how this would work. So as I said, it's an inbox app integrated into your PC experience. You can launch it from the taskbar. Launching it will give you access. It's a permanent destination for your photos, for your texts, for your notifications, and many other key workloads over time from your phone right there on, on your PC. So let's take a look at how this might work. So I have my phone. I'm Martina here. Martina gets a text message. We mirror that exact same text message on her PC. 
She can reply in line or we'll launch her into the phone app we just talked about, giving her the ability to use her full-fledged PC as well as keyboard to interact with this text message. Um, so let me talk a little bit about how this works. What we've done here is we've leveraged our knowledge of Martina's identity and her devices in the Microsoft Graph to create a durable connection between her phone and her PC. Now, we leverage this connection to pull some of the most recent text messages that she cares about from her phone right to her PC. Now, Martina is in full control of this experience. She can decide to enable the experience or disable it. She's, she cares deeply about her privacy, and so do we at Microsoft. So we've ensured that the data that she has stays between her two devices and isn't synced to the cloud. So let's take a look at how this might proceed going forward. She starts having a conversation with a coworker. You saw some of this again in Satya's keynote. Um, so being able to actually use your full keyboard instead of your two thumbs on your phone, being able to integrate your workflow, so copy-pasting images from your desktop right into your flow as well. Uh, James colors the tool, stool sends it back. She's able to integrate all of the content of her text message back into her PC as well without taking her eyes away from being productive at her PC. Now, one of the other things that's really critical is photos. So we've all had this moment where we've taken a picture and we want quick real-time access for that picture on our PC. So Martina is, like many of us, is at the Build Conference and she just had lunch and she's basically trying to figure out if she can actually submit an expense report in the few minutes she has between sessions. So let's take a look at what she might do. So Martina scrolls up and she finds the most recent pictures. Again, we're leveraging the graph to get the 25 last pictures from her phone onto her PC. And she's able to open the picture in the Photos app, edit it. So she says there's only one person eating lunch. She's able to save this to her desktop as well. And it's as easy as that. Now, one of the other things that's a source of distraction and anxiety for most of us is notifications on our phone. What we've done here is basically mapped all her Android notifications to either a Windows, phone, a Windows app excuse me, or to a website. And then being able to actually give her the ability to click on the notification from the Contoso Expense app. So here's the Contoso Expense app that many of you in this audience probably contributed to. And she has the ability to drag and drop that expense report receipt right in line. So I hope you guys are excited to use this, use this because I certainly am. We're making it so that your phone and your PC work together for you and on your behalf. None of us here can live without our phones, and neither should your PC. <laughs>